Southwire Bluetooth multimeter. Check this out at Lowe's. Part number 14090T. Supports on Google Play and the App Store for Apple. Um, cat rating, 600 volts. Will handle up to 1,000 volts with Bluetooth and true RMS. Waterproof, drop tested, just an incredible unit. Um, had to replace the other meter that I had. Uh, unfortunately, it was dying really quickly and I depend on these things way too much. Um, this is my primary mode of troubleshooting uh, electronic circuits throughout the day. I'm in rough, rugged conditions and I, I need something to make sure it doesn't break. If it breaks, I'm down, I'm not able to repair anything. So it is, it is a vital piece. Um, so let's tear it apart and uh, get into it, check it out. Okay, let me be real careful not to cut into it. So you got a little space between the bag and the meter. That's in there pretty good. You gotta love the heat seals. Okay. That, that is a brick. So let's um, get into the other half of this. Okay. Discard the packaging. First thought is, wow, this is uh, quite, quite a nice meter. Pull the just play off. Nice clean. Said drop test and rugged eyes, so we should hopefully be able to survive with me. The rotator's got a pretty good snap to it. I know sometimes they get a little weak and they like to jump around and not stay on what they need to. Open up the bag. Okay, so we have a temperature sensor. We have, I guess, the extra plug to plug up those those ones. Uh, standard set of meter probes. The adapter for the temp probe. Oh, the magnetic holder. Oh, that's going to be genuine. Instructions manual. Okay, so unlike regular meters, this takes. AAA batteries. I'll be sure to put some extras on there. Now, one thing that was kind of disappointing, but that might be on the flukes, fluke meters. Um, they do have the the caps to convert it from a Cat 2 to Cat 3 and Cat 4 um, for your, your protection so you don't have all that metal hanging out. These are very easily lost, but they might get swapped out with a set of fluke probes. I, I love the south wire meters. I, I've ran one for a very long time and I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, it wasn't until recently that, uh, yeah, it exceeded the amp rating on the fuses and, um, well, I had to replace the fuses and when I did the housing, the, the screw studs, they, um, they were so brittle that they just, they just cracked on it. So, see what we do to get the batteries in somebody actually thought ahead the one screw up here that was always a pain to get to is easy to get to now and there's four screws holding the door on okay so that that's definitely a lot easier so this is waterproof so there should be some type of sealing in order to protect everything. Which is nice because there are times where I get down in some pretty rugged, bad conditions and my meter's the just as important as the headlamp. See, I'm not get that all the way.
so if you pry up on the front then the back okay this is nice okay this is where I had problems you had to take the whole meter apart like the whole clamshell to come apart on my old one to replace these fuse these are your uh, amperage fuses that if you accidentally overload 10 amps or I think it's 500 800 milliamps on this one 500 on my old one um, it would pop these fuses now they are kind of expensive but they're not terrible considering the price of the meter it's, it's well worth it I'm not expecting a lot from these batteries, but these batteries do not feel cheap. So, it's the first meter I've ever had with triple A's. Everything I've always had had nine volts. So hopefully they last just as long. So I'll put that back on. So if you pry up on this side first, the other side will float right out. Especially like the fact you can change those fuses as easy as that. If it wasn't for that, the meter would probably still be working half okay. So now, this piece, this is awesome. This is magnetic. So when you're working on something, you can hang that on the electrical panel door and it stays right on. So... I guess the intention if you do that that's not gonna work too well okay I'll have to look up here in the manual and see um, just a simple but I wanted to be on there correctly Probably doesn't show us. Okay, so just seeing that these little caps here go in the meter, so it plugs them to keep the water out of them, which is fine because you don't use them that often. And then the temp probe is even nice when you're working with any type of cooling system. I think I'm actually doing this backwards. Okay, so I went ahead and I downloaded the app. It's asking me to approve the license and turn the meter on. So, okay, I'll turn it on. Turn the Bluetooth on, look at that. Automatically, please enter a Bluetooth name. I don't know what to call it, so I'll just call it meter. Okay, look at that. Live view <laughs> over Bluetooth. Okay, we'll get the probes out. And it's also acting as a scope. You look at that so I can take a screenshot so check that out okay we'll just call it test again 
then see what do we have in setup? We have GPS. Okay. High low alarm. Turn the sound on, why not? Recording. That's cool. Alright, let, let's hook up the um, the probes to this. Okay. It's a 9 volt battery. First we need to go to DC mode. 1.96. That battery's pretty dead. But showed it right there on the right there on the phone screen. That's really cool. Then if you push and hold this, it turns the light on. And look at that, even the phone reflects what you're doing. So if I go into resistance, look at that. And the update is, is quite fast. Wow. See, I believe that's the capa yep, capacitance check. So you have resistance, continuity, and the diode check. So up here you have volts, AC volts, DC volts, and frequency. Uh, what mode is that? That's a percentage. I have to look and see what that one is. It's capacitance and then temperature. So right now it's not going to read any, any temperature because of course here's the temp gauge. Now with this it comes with the adapter and I think they use the adapter just to get to be able to put different probes on. Basically that just plugs in together. You pull your regular meter probes out and you put them right into there. So right here it's saying it's 84 degrees which is pretty accurate. I'm going to put my finger on it. Let me show you the uptake. This is really handy if you're doing refrigerators to be able to read what's going on. Um, I don't do it often but I do have a case where I monitor for temperature. Um, and it's, it's vital that we maintain that temperature. Otherwise we lose food and other things. Um, but, you know, I, I've used this in air conditioning before. I'm not an HVAC technician. I don't pretend to be. But there are times where this is very handy to use. Okay. I'll give one second here. Okay. So one of the settings here is the low Z. And basically what that is, is a detection on the basically a very low range after you've de-energized the circuit you can look to see if there's any ghost voltages on it um, to make sure that it's completely dead and you don't have capacitive coupling from AC lines running right beside of each other um, definitely useful when you're working in the high stuff um, so if I go back around of course the the amp ratings um, you have 10 amps then you have uh, fuse, fused 800 milliamps and of course it will read down to microamps um, I do need to turn that back on yeah easy linked right up this will be especially handy so if you're ever working in a dangerous scenario and you need to have these probes hooked to it you can hook those to the circuit link it to Bluetooth and walk away and be able to activate it. That was one of the selling key points. There's many times where I have to be around the corner or something like that to activate the circuit, not necessarily in a dangerous situation, but in a spot where, you know, I, I can't be there. Now, I don't think, yeah, you have to be in a mode. So with it on, Turn it turn back on.
Okay, so with the unit on, you can push the peak button and it gives off good enough light. But I have a lot of light on here now, so that'll be fine. Push and hold the light button and it turns right on for you. The screen lights up, doesn't time out like the older series did. So that, that's definitely nice, especially when you get into a dark area. But here, plenty. Um, see, it's kind of hard to turn off my other lights without messing up the video, but you can see it's, it's plenty bright enough. And I mean, it's shining right up the wall. You can't see it, I'm pointing away, but it's across the room five feet and I can see what I'm doing. So one instrument to go in a room, I can see what I'm doing and still make the operation work, which is really nice because you don't always get into the good spots for this. And then of course you see, please turn Bluetooth on. I turn that on, automatically picks it up and I select it. And here we are, we're right back active. So overall, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this so far. I can't wait to use it in the field. Um, there's a lot of places I, I use voltmeter it's almost used every single day um, and I'd be completely lost without it but um, this so far is quite incredible you can pick this up at Lowe's um, I, I, so far the way I see it I, I definitely recommending it I will figure out how to attach this um, I'll have to look at uh, see, see what Southwire was thinking but I, I'm excited. I mean, just these little extra features alone is definitely worth it. Um, when, when you're out there working in the field and in a rough, dirty environment, uh, it's these little things that are going to save your butt and, and make it make it a lot more comfortable. And you're not dancing around and hold, trying to hold your meter. Um, one thing to mention, though, that I was quite impressed with is how this does have a, a working scope. I'll have to put a signal generator on it and see if it will actually display the waveform. But you know, you got a scale here, but I've always wanted the scope on the meter uh, for portable use. But if this does it through the phone, this will be incredible because there's a lot of times I work on a data circuit that needs the mapping so I can see what's going on and this would definitely help. You know what, let me get the uh, function generator out and uh, we'll put on it and see what it, what it will show us. So let's get this powered up. Yes, this is the scope that I purchased from Amazon. So if you want to check it out on the other video, please do. This thing is totally awesome. It does have the signal generator in it. So... I'm going to take these probes off just to make it easier. Okay, so the generator's not on. Let's, um, it's probably not going to work up to 10, 10 megahertz. Let's go to 60 hertz and see what it looks like. That's 60 hertz is a square wave. And it's about one volt. Okay, so it's not going to read the changing like a scope would. Unfortunately, if you wanted it for that feature, it won't work. But it is reading the actual voltage coming out of it. So this is just going to be a voltage average um, coming to it. Which is not bad. I didn't want the meter just for, for this feature. I mainly wanted this meter because I can walk around the corner with my phone and be able to see what's on the display while I'm actuating the circuit that I need. So I can be at, you know, four different places at once. So with my generator, let's see, do we get anything with a, with a sine wave? So no, we do not. How about a sawtooth here? No, it just picks up the max value, which is okay. All right, well, here it is, Southwire 14090T. Um, I, I can't wait to use it out in the field. This is gonna be a game changer for me and um, more reliability. And I haven't had any real problems with the Southwire other than when it was my fault, I 
blew up part of the fuses and then the casing cracked so i can't blame them for that but um long running meters no complaints good stuff um may, maybe the probes but these probes actually feel pretty good i thought they were like like a private labeled fluke series but um i don't know that they are Hopefully they, they last as long as what they look. If they do, then I, I won't have any problems out of this thing. Um, because I know sometimes these little metal tips, they like to break off and then you don't have the nice points. Watch these points, they're really sharp too. They, they can hurt you pretty good when you stuff them in your pocket. So try it out if this is what you're looking for. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Um, if you got any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Uh, give me a rate, give me a subscribe. Let me know that you like seeing this stuff. I'm trying to get more. Um, but this stuff's not cheap to get so I was quite pleased when I was able to get it and um, Yeah, wanted to share it with you. So take it easy. We'll catch you later seven threes. Have a good week whatever it is to you and um, Have some fun get out there and play with some stuff. We'll see you